Now, you might use emojis and emails and the notes that you send, but many people don't know that you can use them in Evernote to make your notebooks stand out. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I like to share features that some people don't know even exist in Evernote. I mean, most people concentrate on the basics like setting up notebooks, tags, and writing notes. But things like using emojis sometimes fall by the wayside. So first of all, let me show you what I mean. Now, how do you find emojis? Well, on a Mac, and I presume it's like this on a Windows machine as well, go to Evernote, then Edit, then click on Emojis and Symbols. Copy the one you want, paste it into your notebook name or note or tag, and it's going to make them stand out. But I will, of course, warn you, if you overuse them, it'll become a jumbled mess. And so I only use this for things that I really want to see quickly among my many notebooks. Otherwise, you'll have all sorts of emojis and you'll lose the effect of having a notebook stand out. When I used to take notes by hand, I would use symbols to make uh, elements of the notes stand out so I could review them later. Uh, and now I do the same thing using emojis in my notes on Evernote. So, for example, I would put a question mark next to things I would want to research or learn more about the topic. Well, I can do that in Evernote too. Tasks, get a check mark, a little clock for deadlines. And I also like to use the highlighter tool, just like I would use a regular highlighter. So I use emojis actually mostly in notes, but I use them for important notebooks as well. Like I said, it's a feature that is really simple and something that a lot of people don't even know about. Tell me how you use emojis. If you do, leave a comment below. Hey, before I go, uh, do you know that I share a lot of tips on using Evernote? Besides here on YouTube, they're all in my course, Evernote for Beginners. Now, don't get turned off by the name Beginners in the title. Yeah, it's going to help someone who's just getting started using Evernote, but I hear from a lot of folks who are happy that they got the course, even though they've been using Evernote for some time. Plus, I add new segments from time to time to the course, so you'll always have access to them as well. Learn more about Evernote for Beginners at my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com, and just click on Courses. 